Hey guys, there's a new multimeter from Tesman. It's a clamp meter and it's a smart meter. And look at that display. Let's get inside this box and take a look. All right, I'm getting happy already. We came with the case. That is awesome. They should all come with cases these days. And then it'll look like that when you open it up. You got batteries, leads. Oh, look, little rubber bands to hold your leads together. All right, let's get, some, and there's the booklet right there. That's a pretty thick book. Okay, let's open this thing up and get batteries in it. All right, look at this. It has a nice place for this manual to slide down in there. And I see a thermocouple probe too. That's cool. And it does come with Duracell skull tops. Okay, let's get them in there. There's a little screen protector. And there we go. All right, so there's a little metal inset there to capture your screw that's nice it's not going in plastic and look the battery bay is sealed from the circuit board we'd like to see that too all right it just turned on when i put the batteries in probably because i was maybe holding the button i don't know but anyway that's what the display looks like pretty nice right we got a max min button we got our select button and our auto function button so once we go there we go max min or zero, I guess we hold it down for zero, and then select an in inrush, that's pretty nice. And here's our flashlight and our hold button. There's the flashlight, that's nice. All right, there's a Jaws. All right, let me take you through all the modes here just so you can see the display i like that it always shows temperature if you don't need to you know displays so you always have temperature digits are nice and big okay there's your non-contact voltage and live voltage too so that's cool let's go back to this one and then i can push select Oh, I see. It shows the Hertz and the duty cycle on the same screen. All right, guys, let's test that non-contact voltage thing. That's what it looks like. See the light light up. All right. Okay, then the difference between non-contact voltage and live is live, you put one lead in and then you can touch the terminal. And then that way you get a better idea. Non-contact voltage could give you a false reading. It might not pick it up, but if you put the live 